தலைவர் உள்ள வர்றாரு ஹலோ விக்னேஷ் இது பண்ணிடுறேன் தலைவர் உள்ள வர்றாரு அவர் ஒரு 5 मिनिट्स பாக்கலாமா நான் ஃபோன் பண்ணா கட் பண்ண எடுக்கல அவரு just ஒரு 5 मिनिट्स வருவாரு ஒரு 2 मिनिट्सல வந்துருவாரு பேசிட்டே இருப்போம் ஸ்பீக்கர் இன்னும் உள்ள வரல ஸ்பீக்கர் இன்னும் வரல நம்ம ஒரு 5 मिनिट्स பார்க்கலாம் ஒண்ணு அவசரம் இல்ல ஃபோன் பண்ணா எடுக்கல அவரு இதுல பேர் பாறப்ப செக் பண்ணு நேம் இல்ல ஆர சொன்னபடி ரெண்டு மயில் ஏடி ரெண்டு மயில் ஏடியில வந்தாக்க மயில் ஏடியும் காணும் சார் உள்ள உள்ள வந்துட்டு போயிடுச்சு நேம் ஐ திங்க் இஸ் ட்ரைங் டு லாக் இன்
That's enough. हाँ, सो लगे. Seven five. Just tell me. इल्ल अवरी पता नहीं उल्लाह अंदर क्या रहता है. Okay. हाँ, और அவர் பெர்மிஷன் கேட்டுக்கலாம் ஒரு ஜஸ்ட் சார் ஆரம்ப சார் ஹலோ இங்கிலீஷ் இங்கிலீஷ் நா ஐ அம் ரெடி யூ ஆர் ஏபிள் டு ஹியர் மீ யா சார் எஸ் இஸ் கிளியர் சார் நெசசரி கேன் ஓகே ஓகே फ्रेंड्स குட் ஈவினிங் वी आर इन टाइम टुडे वी आर हैविंग आवर legend speaker south zone aram for crm i request vikrish to play the prayer song thank you vignesh sir next agenda pledge i i request vignesh sir play the pledge video life underwriters guild of india was established to promote togetherness cooperation exchange of sales and technical ideas among insurance advisors of india and to enhance their knowledge confidence discipline and self esteem to bring about professionalism in their practice all members of lugi are expected to follow strict professional ethics as follows number 1 to always play the best interest of our clients above our own number 2 to maintain the highest level of professional competence so that our clients receive the best advice number 3 to hold in the strictest confidence all privileged business and personal information pertaining to our clients affair four to make full an adequate disclosure of facts necessary to enable our clients to make an intelligent informed and suitable decisions number 5 refrain from such conduct disclosure which which would cause the public or the life insurance industry to lose confidence with our members 6 refrain from twisting practices that is replacements which may be detrimental to our clients seven abide by and conform to all provisions of laws and regulations prescribed in our practice eight to update on day to day basis all regulations of various regulators governing financial industry number 9 to update knowledge of various products and services by continuous learning
thank you viknesh sir dear friends i request our lugi deputy president deputy president sri gurumurthy to give the welcome address good evening friends good evening to all warm welcome to all warm welcome to the world class educational forum of lics that is lugi today's program is very useful for every lics first my most welcome to the youngest living example of professionalism and creating professionals for the past 50 years and future the 80 84 years old youngest our mugavar tilakam sri p srinivasan avargal p srinivasan ji my pranams and my hearty welcomes talavare today's eminent speaker is sri venkata sri sri venkatachari sir regional manager crm department from the most valuable department for the development of our organization my special welcome welcome sir and president mr srinu alai swengara subramaniam our most beloved president of lugi hearty welcome our ceo mr k ravi hearty welcome secretary and the host mr nasser hearty welcome education committee chairman co chairman uh, education committee chairman varadarajan and co chairman mr karunadidi special thanks to mr sridharan faculty members all the every he is helping uh, to uh, lugi for all the zoom meetings and my special welcome to all the life members of lugi executive members of lugi cdc members of lugi and the cip learners cip finishers carp learners and cip finishers and all the excellent uh, work doing the uh, doing be on behalf of uh, lugi hearty welcome to all my special welcome to fellow chartered financial passioner fchp friends my special welcome to all officials my special welcome so thank special welcome to all the uh, participants of the lugi all the participants of from lic all the participants of various uh, uh, divisions chapters psts i have my special welcome to development officers senior business managers managers senior business associates uh, all the lic officials all the cla friends and all my hearty welcome to the excellent program today's programs will tune all your doubts this today's program is very most important to our agents to may know the what is the different between our service what, what how to learn how to uh, step forward to the other so my special thanks i one and one sorry one and again all thank you welcome 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 thank you guru murthy for your wonderful welcome address i request our evergreen young personality founder of lugi sri p srinivasan sir to give the special address on today's subject uh, that's a sir uh, in which name is come Oh, not is not i'm not, not able to find it i'm not oh, able to find it so i will go next agenda sir will come yes guest come on the admin admin oh just one minute admin guest i made him a course just one minute ha ah as in i made him a course admin i made a course just check it okay Uh, what about talaver talaver is there no hello talaver is not talaver is there no it is not there no 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 okay. uh, so go for next irkar bhai irkar irkar so over to you talaver no avar idu panna mudiyadhu avar end idhil irkar i just just one minute i'll in the id so which is not audible <coughs> that is the reason just one minute i don't know sri vasan Or he's not in his name. Not in 
இல்ல அட்மின்ல இருக்காரு இஸ் ஆல்சோ இஸ் வீடியோ இஸ் ஆல்சோ ஆன் ஓகே பட் ஆடியோ அட்மின் ஐ மீன் சம் டெக்னிக்கல் इश्यूज ஓகே ask him to re log in so that okay okay uh... sir unga audio varamaatengudhu sir neenga log out pannittu log in again sir so that we'll have your audio ஆச்சாரி let me say a few words about my experience with mr trivengalachari when he was a senior dm at trichu he invited me to address the mdrt agents i still remember not only his hospitality and caring but also the enormous love and affection each and every agent has had with for mr chari when he was holding the position of senior dm para that shows his humbleness humility and human relationship capacity para thereafter uh, i had an occasion to uh, request him to address our zoom meeting when our zoom meetings were started about one and a half years back or so para his name was suggested by top two officials of the corporation para he has agreed but he had to go and request for permission some he was not lucky to get it but one thing i can guarantee you mr trivengrachari will always be remembered cherish and i don't know about the other person sir let me go one important information i would like to place before you that is i read a book today where a position and possession at times spoils a man position and possession at times spoils a man most of the people in their anxiety to go up in the ladder holding certain position going up in the position don't go up in the right way and they suffer later on possession those who want to accumulate wealth beyond their limit and ultimately they suffer due to diseases and spend their money accumulated in the hospitals sir this is what the book says and the doctor says the author the chair where the man sitting laughs at him and says so many people sat in the chair and so many people are going to sit in the chair your occupation in the chair is temporary remember do good to others this i recollect now because i know mr chari gar chari very closely he the position has never had any impact with him and naturally he is being loved by those who came into contact which include the agents of trichur i know how much they love still they when i mentioned the name of mr chari people remember so why i want to say all these things there are people with enormous excellent qualities in our multi in a big organization 
this organization created a unbelievable number of giants in business excellent people in administration and they will also always be remembered it's a great opportunity for us to listen to mr chadi and i am anxious to listen to him i will conclude it little bit early thanks a lot thank you talare thanks for your good words i request to our lugi vice president r shrinivasan to for introduction of our today's guest speaker and chief guest aram sir for crm shri tiru venkatachari sir happy evening to all and all and it gives me immense pleasure of introducing today's speaker shri s tiru venkatachari his education qualification he is a mcom graduate and a specialization in the business administration and he has also completed icwa inter he worked in branch offices division office zone office and central office worked in different geographical areas worked in almost all departments of the organization and having very rich experience he holds various positions as joined as a director recruitment wo in 1989 served as abm sales and branch manager in charge and a senior branch manager in vandiperiya branch under kodem division and chennai division and salem north branch during the year 92 to 2000 and he has served as manager nb at a division of his tinilveli for 3 years he had a short stint as a assistant secretary planning in zone office for chennai for only 1 year and the promoter and the posted as marketing manager in the salon division and the surat division during the year 2004 and 2010 he served as a senior division manager in charge in nadia division western zone and the trichur division south zone during the year 2004 10 to 2014 served as secretary audit in chennai central from during the year 2014 to 2017 served as secretary marketing south zone during the year 2017 to 2019 in 2019 he promoted and posted as chief crm payment at central office joined as rm crm claims during the year april 2021 till date believes in ethical marketing likes meeting people's customers not only to get business but to get feedbacks and build a strong relationship his hobbies interested in chess carnatic music and reading sir now the floor is to you thank you nazar good evening to all of you so i would like to begin by saying good evening to all of course you are founder president shrinivasan and another shrinivasan who is say contact me early for this thing and to all the dignitaries here and my friends agents first of all i would like to say i am very happy to be invited for such a meeting for the simple reason that for a very long time i have been associated with agents professional agents who are contributing their best to the organization they were very friendly with me i learned lot of things from them of course i was also able to contribute a portion in their development this particular meeting special meeting you are able to hear me yes sir we are able to hear you but uh, your camera is not on camera is not there uh, here yes, also uh, video is on only but i don't okay. know why it is not uh, you know once you are able to hear i will proceed oh yes sir okay sir okay please proceed this special meeting when i was invited i was very happy to join for one of the reason the founder president called me and when i had invited as he just now recounted 
he had come and addressed our mbrt prospective agents in that year and in that year we had a record mbrt of trishur division compared to previous year of 7 it was 37 in that year there was a wonderful positive cat catalytic effect of the not only in that meeting i have heard him speaking in several other meetings and subsequent meetings also definitely he is a source of inspiration to all and he is a live example for many of the persons agents who are in this profession for being for reaching the top and how to be professional so obviously i was happy to be invited here of course uh, uh, uh last year also i was invited only in claims and not in ps that is why probably i was not uh, in fact thought that better that a person who is having both can address that is the only thing no other thing is in that of course now i am happy now that i am rm crm here i am able to address this gathering to all of you first of all uh, can you share the presentation is it easy so that i can start with presentation but main purpose was i have told it's a no issue sir just a minute sir is basically promise to settle to claim that is going to be the basic thing we are telling is that we are going to settle claims so when we are settling claims then we are settling claims so when we are uh, canvassing business settling claim is the main idea they are promising so obviously claim settlement assumes importance so today a bit about claim settling i will be talking it is not just claim settling it is a servicing which i am going to talk about servicing in general customer relationship how to use the existing customer base for increasing our income that will be the main thing and of course latest crm initiatives what are available here of course those who are regularly doing professionals will be knowing it but definitely i will be starting with that so first slide i am talking about role of agents one of the reason is once you understand the role clearly it will be easy for you to understand the concept and develop further grow further in that matter so agent is the first link between insurance and insurer insurer and insured obviously you are the one who are bringing the customers to us you are representing the agent uh, representing the customer on our behalf agent also you are also providing advice to clients either on protection of life cover or on retirement planning savings and investments these are the aspects with which here i would like to say our ours is the only profession where the life insurance is the main thing which is not available in any other savings and investments so this is one aspect which is our own area only our monopoly area in the sense that insurance only has this life insurance portion along with savings and other things which we can market so insurance need to be identified and covered in fact if every topic i have to take every topic may take time i will just hint identify the insurance need is one important aspect many a times though need is there for the customer customer may not understand that need that need has to be uh, presented to him in such a way that he is able to understand that for example i will tell you when we were planning with an agent for a pension planning retirement planning someone was uh, one of the customer told that i will be planning for say uh, Say twenty thousand now, twenty thousand per month now. But having thought with him for some time, I could understand that 
his potential was more he can go for more income then i just brought it to his just checking up with him and asked him what is his income now etc what was it 20 years back how he is going to plan after 20 years then slowly it came he told that right now he is having more than 1 lakh income and previously 10 to 20 years back he had only 2000 or 3000 income from that he has developed to this stage so then i told him after 20 years you are 1 lakh now it will be somewhere around 20 30 lakhs but you are planning for 20000 what is it when i presented to him in that manner suddenly he got shocked he could understand the need and uh, he identified and agreed to take more planning for us so identifying not only really the insurance need likewise insurance need not retirement need not only retirement need insurance need for that matter i used to address customers along with their family members and at that time i will say i was say for example when i address this in the meeting in surat i was away from family my family was in salem so i was just asking people telling them you are coming to a meeting today what plan you have made probably you would have made some small plans of uh, ensuring that uh, small needs of families are taken care bringing children from school etc suppose one week you are going to be away you make some more arrangements maybe more cash maybe bank account maybe atm card etc and similarly i was telling when i was in surat i am away for one year without family much more planning had to be done when i am away from family uh, what, what about education rent and other aspects regular expenses all things bank account withdrawal joint account signature everything was arranged for my family my son education fees etc so i was asking them when we are going for a small tour or a small journeys when we are making so much of arrangements if we are not going to be there for tomorrow what type of planning we have done for our family when such things are raised before the customer obviously the need for them is recognized so the agent's main role is also to identify the insurance needs and present to them in such a way that they are able to understand that appreciate the importance that is the way in which you can bring the customers in obviously to provide efficient after sales service claim settlement is necessary as i was always telling if you do not provide in fact uh, crm is part of marketing customer relationship is part of marketing so uh, marketing has to be 100% successful it means that sales and service servicing everything you should be because small small things the customers ask and if i tell them that i do not know obviously they will be going to a person who knows the job or their impression about us is going to come down so it's very important that we take care of this aspect also so now we can go to the next slide when i am talking about role of agent obviously this role is necessary one for in the interest of customers providing services to them providing life support to them providing planning for them other aspect is when you are doing this you are having growth you are having income so income and growth are the main issues which agents if they do not plan they are going to suffer so what i have observed is many agents who are in the middle level or in the lower middle level it is essentially because they do not have clear goal or focus in their approach as and when customer comes or suddenly one day or some green channel day or some from competition they are doing the work but they don't have a goal i have to become say this club mdrt next level this much income i should earn that type of focus and after the focusing after the goal what customers i am going to meet how i am going to enhance my customer base these are going to be the issues which have to be addressed obviously and focused approach as well as non proper planning these are two things which i have observed which have to be 
addressed by the agents in both terms of servicing as well as in for new business third thing i have seen is we are having excellent customer base not only for our organization even many of the agents have seen huge customer base the customer base not only means their own customer their family members their friends their relatives their contacts their leads this customer base it is a very 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 useful tool this leads are not effectively used probably because of what i have told the role and responsibilities are not clear your growth focus is not well defined that may be the reason next slide please so growth as i was already telling it should be measurable i want this much income i want this much growth in business so you are predicting in advance what is going to be your growth it is not only you are predicting others should also have a feeling this person will start growing he will keep on doing this much business and it should be sustained business every year your income should keep on increasing so this will be good for you good for the organization growth means it has to be predictable repeatable and measurable how much you are going to grow for so far increasing next slide for increasing income you can use through new customers of course which you are all doing we are meeting new customers bringing a new business through them this is one source you are getting leads directly or indirectly who are not our customers you are are not your customers you are going to them making presentation prospecting and other aspects about which i am not going to dwell much now uh, but the other aspect for income increasing income the second source is new business through existing customers existing customers here i am broad basing it is not only existing customers for you you can also get leads about existing customers of the organization about which also i'll be taking some more time with you then re retaining the existing customers once a customer is there regularly not allowing the policy to lapse retaining him keeping in in good humor by educating him constantly keeping in touch ensure that the customer remains with you which is going to be essential which will ensure that he comes back to you when in need for a new policy and also he remembers you because of your relationship with him next slide we'll go so the crm philosophy is mainly putting the customer first it is a something like empathy in the sense that looking at every transaction through the eyes of the customer how the customer will look into the cases here <clears throat> there are examples i can quote but just one small example i would like to quote we have to present the i was telling that i believe in ethical marketing we have to tell the facts only to the customer of course that all professional people including your organization will do that only i am sure about that but the basic thing is what we are talking should be perceived in the similar way by the person who is receiving that uh, one old story but still i will quote old means happening uh, when i was working in salem north branch plan 112 sale g13 sale i went with one uh, customer with an agent agent was also a very professional agent he will speak also only the truth he took me for almost uh, for finalized stage final stage only almost we had finalized we are about to receive the check suddenly the customer asked is there any accident benefit in this plan so i am immediately agent was a professional who was very truthful immediately said no sir in this plan there is no accident benefit because ab provision was there not there in 112 then customer was very upset almost the business was coming to an because are this important thing you have not told accident is the only thing i am planning if you don't cover me for accident what for i should take the policy like that suddenly he became very uh, negative 
then suddenly i interfered and told no sir in this plan accident benefit is there when i told this the agent was shocked because he didn't expect this from me he thought that i will also tell only the truth then i said relax i showed to him and then explained to the customer what agent told is also correct what i am telling is also correct he is telling that there is no accident benefit in the means that you will not get additional cover for accident accident benefit is also covered in 112 plan because if death occur due to accident basic 5 lakh with uh, with bonus will be paid with guaranteed pension will be paid whereas he was telling additional 5 lakh then he said oh i will get 5 lakh no he said yes definitely you will get then he immediately he closed the policy what i am saying this is just an example what is perceived our language sometimes may not be understood by the customer properly so look through the eyes of the customer when we are presenting look and present as if you are in their position so for that for customer philosophy there are three main aspects which have been uh, regularly told by our zonal manager customer centric activities which will be definitely useful to each and every one of you own your customer oic relationship extension program rep about which you would have definitely heard and you can call c to c call to customer contact with customer definitely this is one another thing about which we will be discussing and we will be elaborating further how to use them for your new business next ultimate objective of own your customer is to end your relationship so this means that as i was telling periodically contacting them reminding them for servicing reminding at the time of paying of premium telling them about any servicing needs for example if ab is not covered ab is to be covered the person in the family becomes 18 he can be taken from the policy child policy accident benefit can be added these sort of small small things will make you make them feel that you care about them and when these things are done future policies also will be taken by them with you so this will be one aspect which you can take care one more thing connecting with high end customers i am spelling i am telling specifically it is going to be useful you can identify customers who are having high income who are having potential for taking business i will just say uh, in the branch or in the division normally i try to find out top 100 customers of the branch or division i establish contact with them i connected with 100 customers in surat division i was regularly in touch and when the new plan came i visited them and uh, during those time surat division became number one probably one of the reason is from two families i got two big premiums from one family more than 32 crores had come from another family 13 crores had come in fact my uh, name was put in uh, central office crm site when i was mm in surat i am not quoting this to tell that i have done that but the main purpose is when we are touching customers when we are talking with them and when we maintain the relationship when we visit them reconnect them a nra customer maybe abroad now but when he is abroad when it is his policy is taken care here it will ensure that he is happy and when he visits here certainly that relationship will help in canvassing of new business to her of course uh, on your customer one more job not only high end customer there are customers who do not have adequate life cover because most of the policies which are sold they are sold in such a way that only the minimum life cover is given as per human life value total coverage is not given so that means that uh, there is still scope for more business from them 
that has to be highlighted in such a way that people are able to perceive that what will happen to the family of course uh, is slightly a different subject but still since it is marketing i was in marketing i'm telling that perception should be brought into the minds of the customers next so just uh, uh, i would like to sum up on your customer portion see especially when you have closed in the business or even if closing is not over when you have contacted the customer they are your customers you should build rapport establish trust so that they become captive to you all successful top agents i have seen even if some other person goes to them they say that i am having my own agent i will go through them so that type of captivity they are able to do because they are able to build that relationship so that relationship is one aspect which can happen through regular contact and a touch not only regular contact and touch they should also perceive that you are giving value to them so value at the every stage of journey means as i was telling are you greeting them on their birthday or on special occasions or as i have already told in their when the sb payment is due or claims are due or servicing is due change of address is there mobile number is not there nft is not there in such cases <clears throat> you are appraising them or accept benefit is not there you are giving take caring taking care of them also providing them timely new plans have come whether you are interested such use will keep you keeping in touch they will also remember you when they think about insurance so definitely providing value will be most important apart from regular rapport and trust these two to, to put together and also understanding the customer thinking as if you are him will enable you to build the trust as i was telling the, you should feel as if you are in his shoes and give the best uh, suggestion to them of course one new aspect which uh, all a uh, all the marketing people are in fact everybody has to do is to use of social media this should be one of the plans whether in whatever media instagram or twitter or facebook or whatsapp or whatever be it that will be useful because the current day customers especially the youngsters will be preferring to engage through them there are customers who would like to straight talk there are customers who say just leave me the message i will see when i am free so that type of customers the leaving of message social media usage will be going to be quite useful and uh, always you have to whether it is in servicing or business you have to show to them that you are going one extra mile for taking care of them you are much ahead of others you are carrying much more than rest that is one of the thing which is uh, used by all the marketing people in customer care next of course uh, new business and renewal premium through existing customers about both i am going to talk now one is about relationship extension program of course already they are our customers are your customers how that relationship can be extended to new customers whether they can take further policies on their own policy when it is maturing whether they are going to extend the relationship with the new policy whether that extension can take place in terms of family business wife and children that will be one aspect of new business source relationship extension program from existing customers the leads provided about that also i will be discussing with you but that they are they are all very important leads second lead which is provided to you provided by the officers is regarding bridging of protection gap in that we have seen that there are quite a lot of customers below age of 35 who do not have insurance or insurance less than 50000 1 lakh 2 lakh or much less than 5 lakh quite a huge number of people are there who when you have a large number the theory of large number says that if you are able to contract 
at least a few percentage of them will come back to you and bring you new business. So you can fill up that gap, a protection gap in them. By the way, you can also get new business. Another aspect is there are policies which are lapsed. Here also, you have to take care of lapsed policies, especially a list was provided for policies which are having more than one lakh premium which have lapsed. So these are all our top customers which have to be taken care. Even in from your own, own business, you should keep in touch with all the policies which have lapsed, especially those policies which are going to fetch you more premium. But all customers have to be taken care. And uh, revival of lapsed policies, mainly special plans like G1 Lap, G1 Woman, and G1 Lakshya. These are plans which are giving more premium. Our attention should be obviously more focused on such plans. Next slide, we'll be discussing slightly more. I was telling about that for growth, this lead management is going to be very important. The branches, uh, there is a program, through program, we are giving this protection gap list. Age up to 35, 18 to 35, where policies are less than some assured five lakh. Less than 35 percent, they are here. In fact, I have put less than five lakh, but many cases it is less than two lakh or less than one lakh also. Huge number of such lists are available in the branch. Only thing is that whether we can close. Second is a claim, which is an important source for lead. Claim policies which are maturing, already customers are have experienced us, especially in the current year between January to March, G13 had matured, which had given them very good return and satisfaction. By and large, our endowment and money back policies are also well appreciated when the customer gets back the money. When such a lead is provided, I think that probably we have not understood the importance of the lead. These leads are very costly leads in the sense that we can, as an organization, we can demand for one lead you have to pay this much. Maybe I don't know whether such a thing will happen, but this is not understood properly. Instead of going blankly to a new customer, already an existing customer who has all already been convinced for a, play, for a policy and whose policy is maturing, who has paid the premium, such a customer is a huge uh, lead for us. So this lead has to be used, not only your customers. In branch, we have found that there are quite a few orphan policies where agencies are not available. So obviously, such a list can also be used by you. Uh, of course, when you are taking the claim and making a presentation to them, obviously the marketing role of adding value comes into that. By doing the claim itself, you are adding value. <laughs> but uh, this uh, further enhances the value for the customers. Of course, uh, one more aspect, relationship extension is not only just settling or claim. Lapsing the lapsed policies renewal is also about which I told you earlier leads. Such policies, when it is renewed, it is always uh, stays in the minds of the customer. Future or even at that time, he will be planning for a new policy through you. So revival of a lapsed policy is also not only if it is your own policy, it also increases your renewal premium. One more aspect which was emphasized by our zonal manager regularly in making visit to the SSSP authority. And uh, there you can service by telling that I will collect mobile numbers, net, etc. And you can do that service. By doing that service, not necessarily SSS policy. From them, you can get direct policies, uh, NEFT policies, ECS policies, etc. So that uh, you the, the, there will be a good source by visiting a PA, you are going to get a lot of contacts. So this is also one aspect. Here, PA visits are made by our SSS department in the branch teams. 
and they have reported that quite a few new business has come through them so this will be useful tool for you about rep i would like to emphasize again from our division our zone top 50 customer zonal manager himself is uh, writing which uh, letter is given and uh, we are asking branch manager etc to accompany to the top 50 customers next 400 customers of the zone i am writing the letter that letter is also given to sdms so that, that is forwarded through agents and branch in charge so in charges to the customers so that they also feel the important that zonal manager is writing rncrm is writing next set of per branch top 50 customers letters are written by a senior divisional manager in charge to the branches of course branch and uh, not only branch manager writes now we have also ensured that a sort of check like intimation slip we have prepared that intimation slip makes the claim a bit more tangible because we are paying in left now bank account it goes but uh, with the amount written when the check type of slip it is not a check slip it's an intimation slip if it is given to them it becomes uh, tangible and customers are able to see this much amount i have got which will also help you in extending the relationship so this uh, initiative of the zonal manager or zonal manager of writing intimation slip is going to help you this has to be made use by each and every person this, this is what about rep about claims i would like to state it is a very important tool even in march we are going to say the next slide you can go we'll have a data you will just understand uh, our plan policy this so get the list of your policies not only your policies our plan policy list also can be received from the branch we are also having list of unclaimed out outstanding unclaimed out outstanding is nothing but claims outstanding more than 6 months such list are also the person has not taken the money for 6 months which means that probably is not in need of money i feel that unclaimed and outstanding is also a very good new source for rep of course mobile numbers are neft should be there in all the cases of customer base so that uh, that will be a pretext for you to tell your mobile number is not updated in our records left is not registered we would like to help you that type of pretext can be done so that the customer comes back to you next see this is what i was telling you up to the current year roughly 20 lakh claims are payable in fact it is more by march we will be paying including sp 30 lakh cases Uh, more than 15000 crores we are going to pay out of 15000 crores 456 crores we have got back as new business 456 crores out of claims it is 75000 policies even though 456 crores 75000 policy is a very big amount but when you look at it it is 15000 crores out of 15000 crores only less than 500 crores only 3% of the money we have got back that too from our customers and uh, let me tell you more than 50% of our customers are less than 35 less than 36 that means that they are receiving maturity at the age of 30 obviously you can give one more policy for maturing at 50 or 50 plus so this is another tool which we can use next then uh, about revival campaign revival campaign has come uh, all of you would have sold policies which have lapsed there is a concession whether concession is there or not reviving the policy will protect the customers as well as it will keep the interest of the organization in the sense that uh, premium is protected and for the agent also commission is protected we have revived 
out of more than 51 lakh policies extracted less than 4 lakh have been revived up to 25th march there is still time division wise we have given prior to that i was uh, telling about rep in rep also you see that some of the divisions are able to use it in a fantastic manner for example i can tell that trishur division has collected more than 68 crores in rep through claims alone they could collect 68 percent 68 crores which is more than almost crossing six percent in premium so if uh, agents from threshold division will be benefited when this sort of rep is done 68 crores is coming which is a big source when it comes through agents agents are going to get commission out of that that is a big thing even I have seen some of the branches are doing very well, Irinyara Kuda, Trishu, Vantrishu, etc. Even from Tamil Nadu divisions, Tirukko Villar is doing very well, Pondicherry, CVP has done in one case, and big case they have done. So REP, there is a good progress, and it is also a source where big premiums, a person may have maturity amount of only 5 lakh, but he is having potential to invest 1 crore now. The second special rival campaign, as I was telling, it has also not yielded much. Of course, 25th March, it is there. It will be useful for club members also. The number of policies in force can be increased by using this campaign. Next. Now I will come to online services available to the customers. The CRM initiatives which are there. I will go through them a bit quickly so that uh, we can take up the question and answer session subsequently. Uh, I will only emphasize on points which are uh, probably new, which will be coming in subsequent slides also. So all the customers, we are giving online payment of premium and loan interest. Separate premium payment link is for NRIs. Online PAN registration has been enabled in the current year. Bank status can also be checked. Contact details can be updated. On online registration for authentication for eNAC, that is also possible. Authorization of eNAC registered through EP. So these are uh, some of the online services for both NB and PS, which is available. Further, next slide. So to basically, the customers registered on the portal, we are giving basic services of policy information, policy inquiries, quotations, online left registration, unit statement. But if they are registered for premium services, we are giving additional facilities like policy proposal images, claim payment details, Online switching of fund for ULIP policies, latest plans, online loan request registration, online change of code, online change of other change of address through other or non other. These are also services which are now offered through online to the customers. <laughs> Whether the customers use them or not, <clears throat> this can be a marketing tool for using it. We can tell that we have also become technology driven organization and uh, uh, I am informed that our organization will have more such online facilities, more customer centric activities, more technology initiatives in a very short run. Lot of technological innovations are going to happen, some of which will be seen now. Now, one important information circular which has come CRM initiative or marketing initiative, we can call NRA customers, FNI was next slide, they can get GST exempted. So, GST exemption, this circular is there. Slight details I'm sharing. Of course, you can go through the main thing is that nra customers when they are paying money through nre account or foreign currency they can get gst exemption so this is one important thing even for renewal premium they can get gst exemption gst need not be paid by them 
in fact it will be useful for big cases of single premium where gst amount is going to make a big difference as far as returns are concerned next <coughs> in this you can see uh, there are conditions for a gst exemption he should have a valid non resident master non resident master he will be creating on obtaining an application along with passport nra account details proof of residence outside india copy of visa for nris unique id for respective country so not elaborating that when the customer is there you can go through and know that nra customers can need not pay this gst if they are following up this even for renewal premium it is possible next the corporate initiative this anywhere revival through docu app now it was earlier there for only as so branches now it is available for all branches all branches it is vesting with one of the officer docu app can be used special reports for 56 and above so for revival it will be useful up to 1 lakh special reports is yes, this is again circular cr circular 1276 of course special revival policy campaign is there from 72 to 25 32022 cr circular is there some of you may be thinking huge number of policies are to be revived here i have put just one word abc analysis which i had studied when i was in doing mba try to analyze the number of cases and the activities which you have to do the top 20% activities which will have maximum impact which will be in a group has to be the priority number 1 top 20% of course the c is the bottom 20% which will have least impact which can be done last b group will be in between after a that will be attended but the main idea of abc is whether it is revival or new business march time is short not only for march even for other months we have to see that important things prioritization takes place which are going to give you impact that has to be attended first next <coughs> of course auto foreclosure of loan see here here the 250 was there now auto floor pressure when the loan loan interest is not paid and the difference of amount payable amount become less than 50 auto closure will take place that is the letter circular on 16 2022 next online change of address utilizing aadhar card that was introduced on 26 august 2021 so this also it can be spread to the customers and you can also try it so that once you are trying it and you once you are using it successfully you can suggest to your customers online change of address to aadhar card online <laughs> next see these are some of the circulars i am quoting one some of them are from the last year itself so settlement of sb dispensing with discharge voucher and policy bond so all money back policies up to 5 lakh amount if nft is there we need not insist on discharge voucher and policy bond <coughs> even for up to subject to some conditions about which it is told up to 5 lakh it is there and up to 2 lakh for jeevan anand that the case also we need not insist on Uh, discharge voucher and policy bond next this i already told you next so this uh, one aspect which was introduced in last march but still it has not gained much popularity probably the acceptability has to spread further of course we are as a, at a zonal level we are finding quite a lot of papers have been done through that but still at branch level it is not done 
There's one facility which was introduced last year. <clears throat> Basically, during the COVID times, when the facility was given, more closer to anywhere claim, where you can submit to your nearest LIC office, the policy order can be physically submitted through DACU app. This can be escalated to the concerned branch. This was available for branch for claims right from the last year. Of course, revival it was done in the current year, but it was there for claims from the last year. Uh, there is quite a huge, but still more popularity has to be done for this. This is one relaxation, customer centric relaxation about which you can talk to the customers, uh, say that LIC is going, helping and moving more towards customers. Next. So slightly I'm giving more details about that. Uh, we can go through the presentation later or you can ask, but main idea is that you should know that such a thing is existing. Next. Another initiative was death claim certification. This was also introduced last year. Uh, in fourth and fifth year <coughs> claim, the abridged claim inquiry report was there, which delays the process of claim settlement. So for fourth year and fifth year policy also, death certification was done in lieu so that claim can be, fourth and fifth year claim can be processed fast. The claimant is not, say death claim certification, one more mistake, which you have to be careful and which also the branches are to be, we are filling. We should not ask the claimant to give, it is our responsibility to get a death certification from them. Of course, obviously, in case of doubt, claim inquiry report may be called for. Next. <clears throat> Another settled issue, which was in question for a long time was, in case of accident, there was a classification of whether it was a planned murder or not. If it is a planned murder, it was earlier held by court cases that it is not an accident and action benefit will not be settled. Now, the current court verdict and the current rule says that if uh, in the murder, if nominee is not involved, even if it is pre-planned murder, from the angle of the customer, it will be treated as accidental and accident benefit will be settled. This is one latest change. Current cases where accident occurs, uh, it is it, again a customer friendly step. Next. <coughs> See the one more mistake branches are doing, even you are doing. Aadhaar alone we shall not ask. We can only ask for KYC, know your customer. Aadhaar is one such thing. But you should give only Aadhaar. That is not uh, to be insisted upon. KYC should be called. That's all. Only in case of doubt, KYC should be called where NEFT are available. Whenever NEFT details are available for claim settlement, KYC need not be insisted unless there is a suspicion. Also, PAN card need not be called or submitted for all cases. Uh, probably to be on the safer side or to be on the abundant caution, people are calling for, but PAN card is also. We can ask for KYC means age uh, ID card and address proof. So this also is one aspect which has to be known to the persons. Of course, uh, for death claim also, PAN and other card need not be insisted upon from the claimant. Only thing we have to ask for KYC, not necessarily death claim, pay a PAN card or other card. PAN card and other card can be submitted as a KYC, not that we should say you should give PAN card or you should give other card. Next. <laughs> this is the latest uh, change. In fact, uh, this came in the March last year. Uh, afterwards, uh, the details were further worked out. Now, the current role is that uh, uh, is a circular given by Claims Department 1288, which says that for which you 
security claims where NEFT is already available, subject to some conditions, policy bond and uh, discharge form need not be submitted. For that, there is an arrangement with NPCI. NPCI will give 100% matched cases. 100% matched means the name and account of the policy holder as in the bank account matches with policy records of our. If both are matched 100%, we are sure that the customer is safe. And in such cases, subject to these conditions, that is the maturity claim and SB policies are imposed. Uh, policy has not been transferred in the last one year. Policies are not assigned. EDMS image is available. It is not a key man or employer employee. Such things up to March 22 without policy bond, such cases can be settled. If uh, NEFT is already registered, the person is abroad, MRI, he is not able to submit the policy bond. This can be used and we can just settle without insisting on policy bond and uh, discharge form. Here, one more aspect of uh, claims which I can tell. Policy bond is okay, but discharge form, especially the advanced discharge form, customer can always say, I do not want to give. Advanced discharge form we are giving. If he gives in writing, then we need not even insist on advanced discharge form. I will, uh, I will, if uh, there is any doubt, we can take it that matter separately in question answer session. Next. This is a very important app which is uh, useful to many of us. Digital existence certificate, Jeevan Akshay plan, Jeevan Shanti plan, where even those who are employees who are having pension, all of us have to give existence certificate to get pension or to get pension from Jeevan Akshay. Maybe five, once in five years for F option, for other option, every year it has to be given. So this app is very successful. They can give certificate of existence without any witnesses from their home through the mobile app. This is a very customer friendly app and we are able to get huge number of certificates through this app. So this can also be popularized and this is also, these are all cases which we can always use in marketing that technologically also we are strong. So these are the Presentations, I think I am not exceeding the time. More or less, we will be having time for question and answer session now also. I wanted to talk about some initiatives about which I talked. Uh, marketing through CRM, I talked, mainly emphasizing on protection gap as far well as REP and how to use our existing database, which is available in the branches, which is a huge database. We are not aware about the importance. We do not understand. It is a law of large number. When we are having such a, in fact, I can tell you such a database, if it is in the hands of any other of our competitors, they will be making effective use of that. Probably by the time we understand the importance of that, it may become too late. That is why I insist now. Now also it's the right time. Huge number of claims are maturing. And uh, I can tell you, there are not many persons who are understanding the value of this lead. You can get business in this year itself, or you can get later, but one customer is added for you. So probably CRM is just, as I was telling, marketing is part of CRM, or CRM is part of marketing, either way, either way you see. But basically, it is a customer-centric, both marketing as well as CRM. So customer is the main base. So probably this protection gap as well as this aspect, the leads which you can get from the branches, even the, if they are not giving you, you have to go introduce and convince and say, give me 25 claims. I will get the requirements within one week. I will get it within two days. Like that, you have to promise and try to get the lead so that that leads can be used by you for later. So 
this is the last thing last slide i am having just a thanks slide you can just go to the last slide next slide i wanted to say that uh, uh, growth is a mindset and obviously for that developing of that mindset especially in the month of march you can use develop that mindset which is there for all the professionals whether it is in the claims or in the new business or in the marketing front <clears throat> what is your position what is your rank as such any other month does not matter what is your position when the year closes at 313 is going to be crucial as that will be the freeze the thing who was number 1 who was this club who was number 1 in this plan or any such thing will be freezed at 313 it will not be freezed for 282 or some other days so this is going to be crucial so this opportunity should be used by all of you i wish each and every one excellent closing and growth in the month of march and years to come thank you very much now open to you sir thank you aram sir sir we are received so much of information sir and good points on role of agents common growth issues in areas of income oic own your customer uh, built rapo and built trust sir what the information sir growth of growth of truths with the uh, example jeevan sri phylax cover not additional cover available its example is excellent sir we are very happy to receive this so much of points from you sir really we admired your address sir now we are having a question answer session i request our lugi education committee co chairman sri m karunani ji to conduct question answer session uh, thank you very much uh, mr nasher uh, first of all i would like to thank uh, uh, our uh, rm crm for an excellent presentation uh it is not only on service aspects of lig and he gave lot of input on marketing especially uh, uh, these marketing tips are very useful uh, during this month of uh, march and also lot of uh, uh, initiatives that digitally lig has taken like nris need not submit the discharge voucher and policy document and jeevan shakshya that is uh, uh, digitally the customers can submit Uh, their uh, existence certificate and the relaxation in claim settlement and also anywhere revival and anywhere uh, uh, maturity claim paper submission so all these informations are very useful for us sir uh, definitely uh, uh, all those who are present today uh, uh, would have uh, come out uh, uh, would have known all these uh, informations uh, definitely they will make use of uh, these things uh, in our effective servicing to our customers sir uh, sir uh, we have sent already the questions received from our from our members and it is basically uh, uh, from our members based on their experience uh, with the with the respective branches while uh, doing service to the customers so uh, i am sure you would have gone through the questions uh, let me go uh, one by one sir so that uh, we'll have your uh, uh, response on those questions sir uh, vignesh uh, let's go to the first first question sir uh, uh, usually uh, the lic is insisting on uh, the recycling of uh, uh, the uh, maturity uh, maturity payment so when it comes to death claim uh, and the recycling automatically is not allowed the payment is made to the customer and then we have the agent has to go to the customer and collect the check for the new uh, proposal so is there any reason behind it sir i am also of the opinion that it should not be allowed for the simple reason yes <coughs> main purpose of lic is to settle death claim correct in the event of death of the breadwinner the family should not suffer that amount should be used to create an endowment for the purpose of the benefit of the family who has so obviously the purpose of the insurance itself is to compensate that loss of life so obviously 
directly recycling is against that principle and That's directly right. yes sir our organization is known to be a fair and it is fair and it does not have any corruption or other thing yes. so indirectly if it is introduced it may cause suspicion even if it is not done so it's better that if you want to do recycling of death claim settle the check and obtain the check that is the better method if you are able to convince the customer that will be the better thing rather than doing this yes, that's very good sir who are widow you cannot uh, do like that okay next thank you sir thank you very much sir if the maturity claim is not uh, claimed in time suppose if, if the customer claims after 6 months uh, then also the recycling is not allowed so it is only maturity uh, i can say in claimed amount i have received lot of attention in the current year in the current year though it is not allowed in module we have started recognizing uco from zonal level from this year i can tell you more than 4 crores have come through uco recycling in the current year what you are asking is for module provision uh, probably uh, feedback has to be given once that importance has come down it will be given and it will be taken up but the point is you allow the claim to remain pending for more than 6 months that is a thing to be addressed we have not identify the customer for 6 months is an issue but of course it is a it is a good suggestion we will see whether it can be done if identity is established nothing wrong in using it for new business the the most of the unclaimed uh, unclaimed uh, maturity claims will be of uh, the r fund policy holders sir unclaimed uh, maturity with uh, unclaimed uh, maturity claims and the delayed claims will be uh, that of uh, our fund client customers so they may not have any agent to service them so all those no, no. i i understand that's why yeah. i told it has got lot of attention in the current year we yes. have already made a provision here locally but to integrate it with module it will it may take some time feedback will be given right good session i am not saying that for this time i said clear no here it is not no it is possible we can give suggestion right sir thank you next person sir this is an an, an experience of uh, one of the members uh, when he submitted a revival request in dgh form uh, i have gone through that id proof say, okay you can proceed yeah. uh, there there was a change of address also in the uh, 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 also required and change of bank details also are to be furnished so the branch uh, asked for separate id proof with self attestation of the customer for each services like revival one uh, id proof change of address one id proof change of bank one id proof because they said that all three are different departments they need id proof with self attestation it it, it I, is uh, uh, i, I do them. not know if they are, if all the three services are done on the same day there is no need okay sir basically id proof is to establish identity yes, every sir. time you need not ask for identity i we have to whoever it is probably new or whatever we have to educate them that is the only this sort of things can happen in a big organization everybody yeah. may not understand the spirit behind they may going by the sir so if such thing happens members please note please bring it to the knowledge of the crm so that uh, they will advise the concerned branches uh to to uh, refrain from uh, such practices thank you very much sir next sir this you have already told the maturity claim documents shall be submitted at any branch of lic but uh, some of the branches they do not uh, entertain and accept the maturity claim papers uh, of other uh, branches so they ask us to submit or send it uh, the maturity papers directly to the uh, servicing branch so probably uh, uh, you, you can give a solution sir in that case obviously, obviously i do understand while talking i was telling this was introduced last march for claims 
for revival it was introduced in so but in branches in the current year now it has not been fully placed in all the branches one officer is identified for operating on this app if he is on leave probably they are not able to do on the day if it happens it is going to be an issue on that day which may have to be addressed in future but uh, there is also an education issue it will be we have to educate more i also received one feedback from uh, one of the branches that it is not happening immediately i had to call that uh, division and branch and uh, it was accepted it is a question of uh, if you see when uh, anywhere premium first came yes. the same sort of things were there the branch they were telling no no it is not operating you go to the next branch but, but slowly it's a new scheme slowly it will get accepted it's a matter of time we have to keep pushing that's right. what i thank you thank you very much sir next question vignesh <coughs> sir uh, when a check is dishonored or check is uh, returned Uh, whether it is a quarterly payment or yearly payment or ecs so we come to know of the check return only on seeing the next month's uh, the commission bill in such a situation the policy uh, would already have lapsed and how do we keep track of the check return and ensure the payment of premium in time sir yes uh, this problem is there from january 22 prior to that this issue was not there there is some change of procedure happening it will be set right it's a matter of a temporary thing which will be set right in due course anyway we are this feedback also i will be giving yes sir so if feedback. we are informed of the check return so that we can immediately contact yes, the customer sir. and make sure the payment is made in time your question is valid thank you sir thank you uh, sixth question so in employer employee scheme once assignment in favor of the employee has come into effect can this employee make another assignment in favor of his close relatives in the form of conditional assignments yes he can make absolutely there is no issue what is the issue in that yeah once the policy is i can assign yes sir thank you very much sir mm-hmm. next question <coughs> can assignment for valuable consideration be made in favor of an individual instead of organizations like banks and housing loan companies yes it can be done for valuable consideration as asked it can be done it so can be done that should we give any proof for that valuable consideration that he has taken loan or something like that or just we can write an individual name can, and ask write the letter say. unless uh, if there is any doubt see one thing you have to understand yes. rate policy is banned assignment should not lead to trading in policies so if okay. uh, it is genuine it can be accepted so okay. normal there is no such requirement but if there is any doubt see to the same person everybody is assigning that type of thing if it is proved that or if it is convinced that it is for a valuable consideration it can be done right it, it can it can also be done in the in the name of close relatives like mother father there is absolutely no issue thank you very much sir next question <clears throat> if husband dies and no children case can the widow make change of nomination for her policy in favor of husband's brother See, if the policy is in her name she can nominate she can nominate but the person who is registering the nomination they can just check whether there is any insurable interest but as said there is nothing wrong if she is having nobody else to take care or yeah. everybody, such things it has it, it will be based on uh, assignment rules permits it only thing is that insurable interest that it is not misused that is the only aspect to be taken care of. right sir. thank you very much sir. next sir uh, the renewal premium is not accepted via neft rtgs like nb proposal deposits especially the nri clients are uh, finding it very difficult to pay the renewal premium through neft and rtgs and uh, 
they also complain that they do not receive otp properly and in time while trying to pay renewal premium through other modes mm. <coughs> NEFT and RTGS, of course, it's a question which uh, I cannot address, but I can just give you a hint. It's not proper for me to address this question, okay. but uh, it, may, it may be to prevent AML violations, money coming from source unknown suddenly into our account. We are <coughs> keeping our account open. Some funds come. It may be an AML violation which may prevent this. Of course, uh, we can still take it up with them, but I doubt whether it will come because of that. RTGS means left means anybody can. Anybody can. We don't know their source. We don't know where it is coming. We don't know what type of fund it is. That may be an issue. That is the only thing to be safeguarded in this. Okay, sir. Thank you very much. Next. Ah, uh, sir. While making a renewal uh, payment online. Uh, the the service providers like Amazon, Paytm, they only ask for policy numbers. But when the customers uh, try to make the payment online, in addition to the policy numbers, uh, we also ask for their date of birth and the premium without GST. So most of the time they make difference uh, mistake by uh, adding GST and putting uh, the uh, premium amount which doesn't tally and they are not able to make the payments. Uh, the payment gateway may not insist because they are getting everything from you in advance. Whether it is a <laughs> thing. When you are paying directly, you have to give. But what you are telling, there are two aspects in that. One is uh, checking the genuineness of the customer. That is the main thing. But this sort of mistakes, if you are, can point out this is causing problem like what you are telling, that can be addressed. That can be addressed. If policy number and date of birth is given, other things can be something like that. That type yeah. of feedback you can give so that we can take it up. The that customers can, can, can give their policy number and date of birth. But the premium, sometimes they may not premium have can the... come auto. That type yeah. of thing you can try to look at it. Huh? Right. Okay. So that will be great. Sir. Okay. Next. This has to be taken up. Whatever I am telling, now yeah. I am it has to be done by CEO. Huh? Right, sir. Right, sir. Thank you. So the time of revival, now only administrative staff members are empowered to scan revival papers through LIC document app. Is there any possibility of stretching to the field, field force, that is the DM club members and above agents, so that the time will be saved to a greater extent at the time of revival, sir? I was telling you, this is a new initiative which is brought. Sooner or later, Either this or some other app will be there through which either customers and your server. Like now Ananda app is there for so many other facilities. Yeah. Like that sooner or later it will come. That's what I am given to understand. This docu app is now limited. It was introduced mainly during the time of Corona so that this sort of effect can be immediately done. But uh, technology we are working our central office is working on that. There will be changes on this. Not okay. immediately, but there will be changes within short time. I can right, say. Sir. Thank you, sir. Sir, one suggestion to LIC central office. Uh, is there a possibility of creating a new department like CRD department, claims reinvestment department at branches uh, so that uh, the, the functions uh, uh, could be counseling customers for reinvestment? Though, of course, uh, most of the agents are doing it. Uh, <clears throat> if, if there is one such department so that uh, the leakage of uh, maturity uh, payments, uh, which could possibly uh, come back to LIC for investments and also the R fund policy holders, they do not have anyone to service and advise. So that such department can uh, bring in more business to uh, LIC. That is one question on suggestions. Actually, I'm, I'm just smiling at this for one <laughs> reason you should say don't create any new department it is our portfolio we'll take care <laughs> don't give such an idea right sir it may become part of digital marketing then you may not be involved at all correct correct you are able to follow no if uh, 
I am creating a department. I am getting it directly from customer. Then why should I pay you commission? This sort of correct, correct. So I'm this, not just this. don't take it. Uh, I'm just correct, asking correct. the mark I'm making. But uh, let me tell you, at zonal level, we have asked each and every branch to create a task force. Mm -hmm. In many divisions, sir, I was telling you in Trishul division, it is stopping more than 70 crores. Every branch. And even from the division, they are making calls and supporting the agents. It, it is possible. We, we can do that. How it has to be done, etc., we can see. Hmm? Such a separate department in the branch will uh, uh, prevent uh, the, the marketing opportunities for the agents also. This has to be tapped. We will we'll see what can be done. Because this is a lot of attention is on this. Right. What you are telling may come through. <coughs> may come through. Right. Thank you, sir. Next question, uh, Vignesh. Sir, this you have already uh, addressed. Uh, uh, now we, we can submit the documents uh, at any branches of LIC, irrespective of the servicing branch. And is it possible to get the settlement at any of the LIC branches in India? Sir? Not, not now. Okay. Not now. Okay. Centralization of claims is slightly away. It may not okay. happen now. Right, sir. Thank you. Next. <coughs> sir, as far as the health insurance premium is concerned, <coughs> uh, if, if we pay the premium online with exact rupees and paise, say, for example, if the premium is uh, 4,175 rupees, 88 paise, and if the check is drawn for 4,176 4, or 7590, the premium cannot be accounted. At the same time, the same check can be remitted at the branch office. This causes a lot of difficulty and inconvenience for the customers who pay the premium at premium points. I've seen that feedback. I am it is happening correctly in branch, not in premium point. That is the issue, yes. no? Yeah, correct. We'll, we'll examine that. We'll get back to you. If right. it is happening in branch, it should happen here also. Why it is right. not happening? Huh? Okay. okay, sir. Thank you. And the premium paid certificates of health insurance policies do not display Section 80D exemption, whereas those issued from the branches clearly indicate the tax exemption. Hence, we have to depend branches to get premium paid certificate of health insurance policies. So when it comes in the branch premium paid certificates, uh, why not it is coming uh, when we take it through premium point? It should be same. I agree with you. We have to give the feedback for this also. What is coming there in branch, that only should come here also. So we'll take it up. We are noted down. Hmm? Right. Uh, Vignesh, please make a note of uh, those questions where uh, the sir said that he will take it up so that we will uh, send these questions to uh, sir so that uh, he can take it up. Okay. And, I'm uh, not, next I'm question. noting it, sir. Yeah. <clears throat> Regarding Health Plus 901 plan, the fact is that only HCB and MSB charges can be claimed under Section 80D. And the rest of the premium is not at all eligible for exemption under any section. Since the premium paid certificate of 901 plan does not indicate anything regarding tax exemption, clients are frequently uh, misusing the same for availing tax exemption for the full premium amount. But when the premium paid certificate of 901 is issued from the branch, it clearly indicates the amount of HCB and MSB charges and section D for the same. Sir. Plan 15 and 16 both are similar nature. What is available in the branch is not available in the... Yes, correct, correct. So we will give the feedback. We'll examine and give the feedback. You cannot write. Right. Huh? Thank you, sir. Thank you. Next. Sir, uh, when, when we uh, put receipts uh, in our premium point, especially Jeevan Anand plan, the term of the policy is not mentioned. It, 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 it gives 100 minus, uh, 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 it, it gives the, uh, the remaining uh, period of the customer up to his 100 years of age. So when the customer asks us how many more years the premium needs to be paid under this policy, on seeing the receipt, we cannot uh, give the immediate answer. 
whereas the premium paying term is recorded when the receipt is made at the branch office the same uh, same thing so probably we can we can uh, okay. send a copy okay. of the receipt to okay. okay we will give feedback for this also it right. will be helpful if ppt is given instead of term yes. they are giving full term of cover yeah correct cover minus ag and uh, the customers are uh, misunderstanding that they need to pay premium till 100 years of age Oh. We'll go to the next hmm. section. ATD has an inbuilt option to claim fifty thousand rupees exemption if the proposer takes a mediclaim for his senior citizen parents. In this case, proposer is not covered under the policy. The question is, how can a proposer claim this above mentioned exemption in Arogya Rakshak or a withdrawn Aro Jeevan Arogya plan? because the proposer is always covered as principal insured a uh, principal insured can we think of a method where the proposer is not covered and the parents only are covered and the proposal form may be redesigned that is uh, the 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 son can propose in the name of parents uh, by paying premium and the uh, receipt might be issued in the name of the son so that he can claim uh, tax exemption under section 80d now for uh, parents uh, health insurance the receipt is issued in the name of parents themselves so the that son is not able to claim tax benefit under it, section 80d practically you are suggesting a new plan uh, no sir usually uh, the health insurance for senior citizen or elderly parents only the children are buying it hmm. and the section 80d exemption is available only if the receipt is in the name of the itss so many a time we the customers do face a problem in getting a section 80d exemption uh, padmanabhan am i correct padmanabhan so the question is from you so that you can elaborate yes, padmanabhan are you hearing me probably his mic may be off no Yeah, Padmana, uh, Vignesh, you can uh, uh, unmute. I have, made, I have made him a post. Just yeah, now. make him a post. <clears throat> Padmana, sir. Ah, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. Yes, sir. Thank you. Yes, the same, sir. Question is because in medical aim, mm. the proposer is son, and he is taking the policy in the name of his parents, and he can claim the tax exemption for fifty thousand. But in our case, the proposer is. automatically included in the in the policy so that the separate premium for parents cannot be shown separately so my, my humble request is the proposer should not be covered as the pi pi and the parents only has to be covered like that an arrangement may be kindly done sir please even for medical claim you mean to say the proposer is son and he takes on the is there any concept of proposer or medical claim is taken by the father and son pays the premium and get exemption so there How is a provi there is a provision in health insurance the son yeah. can propose for the parents so that receipt will be issued in the name of the son covering their his parents so that son can easily claim a uh, deduction under section 80b Okay, Whereas here we want the proposer without cover on the life yes. of say father. Yes, sir. Current. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And sir, of of course, a clause can be insisted upon the proposer okay, that he should be covered in in another under the, health policy. Suddenly, uh, see, my uh, so we don't get the idea. I'm not very sure. Parent is taking the policy. If uh, the son is taking policy son for is paying parents, the premium on the life of his father, he should be eligible. Yes. Ah. Yeah, but the receipt should be in his name, right? I, I will get back to you on this matter. I am, I am eighty yes, percent sure about the matter. Balance twenty percent. I have to clarify. I will have a discussion with one or two charter owners and then come back to you on this. please sir new plan on resign has to be made we will give a feedback 
existing provision can be used how it can be used i will share with you yes sir but the proposal has to be allowed that concept i will have to take it up if it is allowed it's okay clear your thing i will take up that's a separate issue but uh, with the existing provisions something can be done that i will examine and let you know hmm? in the same way cancer cover also uh, the husband has to propose separately for him and wife has to propose separately for him and wife being a housewife she hmm. buys cancer cover and the premium which is though eligible for deduction under section 80d the hmm. husband being a, a tax payer is not able to claim atd benefit for his wife's premium though he makes the payment i will examine that's what i am saying say for example i will tell you just uh, you are telling about atd i am telling yeah. about say our normal lic plan i have taken a policy for my wife i am not proposing wife is proposing wife is the insurer i am paying premium and i can it is in the name of my wife still i can get exemption because i am paying correct sir but uh, section 80d is very AD, strict uh, that's what i am i will examine and see if that permit is not there is that's why i told i would like to have an opinion of ca maybe you would have already had in such yes. a case if it is not there in that 80d provision i will take it up with the because technic technically it rule says that the medical insurance premium paid by check only is eligible for tax benefit uh -huh. to make sure that uh only the person who is covered is making the payment see the the same medical claim rule talks yes. about you can have up to 5000 for medical checkup yes say medical checkup i have it for my wife i am paying the money i am getting exemption it's not that so we will will find out how it can be done i will just i just find right. out right huh? okay you can Thank go to you, <coughs> so regarding uh ipp the pension option letters are sent to the clients well in advance that is 9 months in advance the consequence is that the clients will automatically set aside thinking that there is so much time to uh, submit naturally they forget it and on the other hand if the client immediately submit it duly filled uh, filled up uh, uh, claim forms the branches are not accepting uh, they ask them to come up. you come one, one or two months uh, before vesting so uh, uh, we we need a solution either the the ipp information should be sent two to three months in advance not nine months in advance sir the rule is very clear we should give sufficient time we should in advance escalate the cases and option letters to be collected and 6 months in advance 3 months in advance we have to finish everything that is what it says what you are telling is there it has to be corrected it cannot be allowed they have to receive it and act we will suggest to the branch second ah. thing is even if the customer forgets 9 months in advance we have to send that's all it that's doesn't it. mean that we have to forget it there is a provision to remind Six months before, three months before, two months before. Now central office is sending SMS regularly in such cases. It yeah. is remaining. But the issue what you told branch as to answer. What I tell here is, as far as IPP is concerned, the more training we have had a few training sessions only. We will be conducting more training session because the awareness of the people down level. Correct. It's less on IPP. That is probably the reason why it is getting postponed. Because if I am not sure about the thing, I will try to postpone. Let the next man do what. Let me do it after three months. That may be the reason. I don't know. But anyway, where it is not happening in a particular branch or particular system or thing, you can give feedback so that we can correct those branches. Hmm? So if the branches accept six or seven months in advance, then after this after person after would not have arranged. It is envisaged. Yes. Thank you, sir. it is Next. not that for claims we don't send in 9 months advance for claim but for ipp we are doing yeah claims. yeah correct but go ahead right sir thank you next so regarding maturity claim since the discharge forms are not sent from branches and instead from other agency 
majority of them are not reaching the customers and reaching too late just 10 days before maturity or something like that we are forced to issue a blank discharge voucher to the customers and get their signature without knowing the maturity value see the discharge forms are sent through mash centers through post office only it is not through another agency post office only it is sent by and large reminders may be going through some other source i don't know but it is an arrangement with the post office only uh, a person can always there's a clear circular which says that even advance discharge voucher he can refuse to sign you have to accept that okay even with amount you are giving me discharge form it is an advance discharge form i have not got the amount mm. i can say that i don't want to give first you give me the money then okay. i will give that also the customer is having the right but only thing is he should write i do not want to give discharge form now mm. let him give that and get the check or get the nft payment this is one aspect if you go to the branch they can always print a discharge form and give you this is practical solution both any of the two things you can do so can the agents uh, tell to the branch office that discharge form uh, cannot be given as per the customer's uh, uh, choice uh, so will they accept sir see we have to be customer friendly when customer says i have not received should we not help that customer even if discharge form is not uh, blank they can write and give correct you will be knowing the amount no correct that can be and ultimately as i am telling that the customer right i don't want to give the discharge form blank or i do not want to give the discharge form in advance please settle the money and give details to me like that let them write that we can use that we can accept it is allowed yes sir we shall try no. with the branches sir it is allowed there is a circular for that oh i am not telling my opinion correct it is not an opinion it is backed by a circular correct thank you very much sir so new information to all of us sir and the next question uh, uh, it, it's uh, just an appreciation we express our immense pleasure and sincere gratitude for deciding to waive original policy document for settling maturity claim of course subject to certain conditions so not only this uh, the lot of uh, initiatives have been taken by lic uh, to make uh, lic services digital and it is very convenient to all our agent friends as well as the customers so on behalf of life underwriters guild of india i extend our sincere gratitude to the central office and to crm department and of course all departments of lic uh, for making our job very easy in servicing the customers thank you very much sir for your uh, patient answering all our questions uh, over to you uh, nazar thank you mk and thank you very much sir aram sir we are uh, very happy to hear your all the uh, answers from uh, our side sir and though some questions are raising in the floor but time concern we cannot uh, do now you can please post your questions uh, to our lugia office so that if you find the time we can uh, check and we will send to aram sir thank you uh, another uh, for for the information of uh, the participants today so we have communicated well in advance that uh, the questions if any regarding this particular areas should be sent to lugia of you so that the questions will be asked with the respective uh, guests uh, but uh, without writing to us uh, uh, last minute questions uh, we may not be in a position to encourage next time onwards uh, please write the questions in advance sir one more uh, thing uh, which which i would like to uh, bring it to your knowledge sir Because sir, before that, those yeah. who are having questions, you collect and forward to me. I will reply. Definitely. Even if you give their member number, I will talk to them. Don't worry Definitely. about that. Sir, Can one one important service uh, which we require, sir, uh, all agent friends, 
though we are not uh, uh, promoting uh, the sss is not uh, uh, popular now but uh, the agents yeah. who have already sold policies through ss or face sss facing lot of problems in servicing the customers of uh, sss policy holders sir we are getting innumerable uh, uh, the uh, the difficulties faced by the agents as far as servicing the sss uh, policies are concerned so can you just make an arrangement to depute one officer exclusively for sss so that uh, the uh, the problems of the agent servicing the sss policies could be addressed sir actually there are some break in voice i could not hear properly yeah. what you are talking about i would i would i would repeat it you sir. want yes sir servicing is a problem you want yes. to depute an officer yes sir where to depute what actually it could, it could be in the divisional office or it could be in the zonal office so some sort of nodal officer for addressing the ss yes issue. yes okay. because the agents are finding it very difficult in servicing the uh, sss policies because yep. uh, the, the agents have to go to the servicing branch which may be in his city or some other city so it takes I, lot of I, time I will tell you our zonal manager is very much concerned and he wants all the issues of sss to be addressed so this issue i will definitely take it up uh, with the so exclusively for sss policy for servicing it. problems so we will send a communication to you sir we will collect okay. information there are some agents who are very Uh, okay well doing business through sss we'll collect the questions from them and we will forward it to you personally sir okay definitely thank you very thank much you. sir thank you mk especially sss uh, the one question raised from our lugi vellur chapter secretary uh, he was uh, told but we cannot now go to uh, aram sir police customers very difficult to follow when the transfer one place to another place we can go for that also to our uh, aram sir later thank you sir uh, we will come back to you sir uh, i request our sir there is a two announcement mk one is we are going to start physical cap classes at tanjavur some seats are available please contact our vignesh uh, once again i am telling we are going to start physical cap classes at tanjavur is in tirchi right yeah tirchi 24 yeah, 12 uh, exact date is 12 4 and another one in, uh, in, uh, announcement is we are going to start cap online classes also in april you can register your name for offline or online contact mr vignesh our manager thank you very much uh, i request to our Lucky advisor Sri K. Janardhan sir to offer word of thanks. Thank you, Mr. Nasir. Uh, it gives me immense pleasure to be amongst you in this August gathering to propose word of thanks. First of all, my sincere thanks to our respected RM, CRM Department, LAC of India Southern Zone, Sri Yes, Sri Vengada Chari, who gave us enormous information. in app and servicing and marketing through crm thank you sri trivangalajari sir for your wonderful presentation allotting your valuable time to educate us to do good business and do good service agents can provide to customers and you have cleared so many doubts of the field force my sincere thanks to mr gurumurthy deputy president lugi who welcomed the gathering thanks to mr r shrinivasan vice president lugi who introduced our chief guest mr s venkla tirvengala chari i extend my sincere thanks to mr karunandi co chairman educational committee who hosted question and answer session thanks to our lugi general secretary mr n nasser who was comparing the event my sincere thanks to our lugi founder the great talever mr p shrinivasan we told whom lugi would not have been born and such special educational service would not have been conducted my humble pranams to talever and his team especially mr vignesh the coordinator of such meetings my sincere thanks to one and all who have attended the meeting and benefited thank you all thanking you once again thank you janardhan sir thank you, thank you very much quick thank you to all thanks
thank you one and all we will meet thank very, very soon much. in another one meeting thank you uh,